Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we will be looking at the newest update for Dash Dash. I swear to god, the closer we are to Christmas, the shittier I look. I can't get a hold of my hardware, so... <laughs> I didn't get like an early access to the update, it's just that I'm doing it this way. Because to me, this game is like my favorite game on Quest. It's pretty much one of the only things I play every day. And I wanted to highlight this update that's coming because it's it's a pretty significant one. So we're basically getting the long-awaited Quest 2 update, like finally. In terms of graphics and like 90 hertz, which is lovely, especially in the racing game, having high refresh rate on the tracks, it's actually pretty good <laughs> and helpful to have while dashing. As well as there are two new tracks, one classic and one extreme. From what I've played, they are quite easy actually to progress. Comparing, for example, this new extreme map to the other ones, because the other ones are crazy <laughs> in terms of locomotion, uh, sickness and stuff. The new one, I wouldn't consider the ext extreme, although, I mean, I don't know, maybe uh, some people get sick like flying kind of in the air. As well as they introduced a new kind of immersive controls, which is basically another way to kind of steer your kart, like a racing simulator, you know, with those steering wheels. Which is cool, I mean it's not especially my cup of tea because I'm more a competitive kind of player in this game. Like I hold multiple world records on the track so I really am looking for the most accurate kind of steering combinations that I can do with my controllers. And as well as a new campaign, new, new tutorial, basically it's the biggest patch of this game. I was mostly looking forward to the graphical upgrade. I mean to be honest the game did not look shit at all before. I consider this game like pretty much the most polished title on the quest store in terms of like you know just attention to detail and just like kinda work behind the scenes. So after this kind of quest to update, the graphics look pretty sick to me, especially if you kind of know what changed, because in the background there are like additional things that were not before, so it's like a eye candy to look around to where you kind of racing. In the gameplay I'm gonna show today, I mostly was looking for those graphical kind of differences, pretty much in every track there is, so let's just go to, to that. <laughs> Okay, first of all, like looking now, the main menu is exactly the same. Maybe they did kind of like just the maps, but because the menu is like, I think, f fair enough for me. Like it doesn't need like huge updates. So let's jump straight up to the tracks. So what do we have? So we have two new tracks. This one, I didn't see this one. And this one is an extreme map, so they added one normal and one extreme. Yeah, let's start. I'm like so ready. I like I love this game to death, so I can't wait to see how it actually looks like. Because the graphics were not that bad at all. Now we're gonna do mostly casual, I just want to see the upgrade. I'm not gonna like, you know, play competitively. Okay, so this is kind of like, yeah, go, <laughs> bye. Okay, so this is pretty much a pixelated map, I see. The viruses, I'm pretty sure it's like the block. Okay. The, this is a shortcut, nice one. Jump, okay. this <laughs> Pac-Man's oh this is the nitro like the boost okay the slow down classic oh my god please don't say to me we're gonna going there <laughs> I'm assuming here I have to avoid this yes okay shortcut okay so there's two And I think here is gonna be the finishing line. No. Oh, this is a big drift. Okay. It's a very easy map because there's a lot of uh, straight lines. So you don't really need uh, drifting uh, mods to pass it, I feel like. No, this is gonna be a very easy map to pass. Here's a drift. Here was a shortcut. It's not a very big shortcut, so I don't think it matters that much. 
But yeah, here you need mostly the mod for top speed, for sure. Oh, this is a Bomberman reference. <laughs> Very easy map, let's see the other one. So this is the extreme one. Oh, we're in like... like wait, are we in sky? <laughs> let's see... Casually, they can go. Okay... Oh, it's curved once. Okay, that's so far easy for extreme one. Oh, nice music. <laughs> okay, nice, nice kites. I see you. Shortcut. Oh, very good shortcut. Okay. What the fuck, cannonballs? <laughs> Damn. This is in the air, I think. Whoa, we can steer in the air, are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> okay. And that's the finishing name. Very fast one, like a very short one. Easy as well. Normally extreme maps were like very like locomotion inducive. The new maps seem easy. Especially this one as well. I wouldn't consider it the extreme map at all. This flying kind of section, but nothing more. The rest, the other extreme ones are much, much heavier on the head, I'll tell you. <laughs> so now I think we'll check out like the old maps, but the upgrade. I'm very interested in this kind of particular thing because I played too much of this game. <laughs> so I know where to look forward to where it's gonna be actually like better looking. Let's start with alpacas. <laughs> oh, there's a sign now. <laughs> I, th I think I didn't see it before. This house? I don't think it was here before. It's a new music. New effects for the water. This alpaca was not there. <laughs> yeah, those houses were not there before. I clearly remember. I can see the upgrade. It's not like in your face, but there are things that are a little bit different. The lightning on those alpacas is like more dynamic. Cute. Okay, circuit. So far, I think the same, although I don't remember those, you know, here the environment is different, it wasn't there before. I think the lightning on the actual map is different like here, it's much more darker. Oh yeah, the effects on the sky, okay. The city is more detailed in the background. I can see because in my eyes it was like not that uh, in my face, but now I can like see. Okay, cute. Okay. The ground is different. That's the first thing I see. Because it was plain. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> it's interesting that they changed the like soundtracks. I loved the previous soundtrack though, so I don't know if it was like necessary. But I think I'm gonna like listen to it more and see. The rose petals in the sky were not here, like, you know, in the air. <laughs> the fruits are more detailed, okay. Yeah, it has some beat to it, okay. This river was definitely not here. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. 
I'm mostly excited about Ideon though because this is like exactly my favorite map. It's like I'm a master here. <laughs> uh, yeah, instantly the ground is different. Those statues were not here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm so like ready to see. Okay, yeah, the statues were not here for sure. Those ones were not here. What the hell are the <laughs> like moving heads? Okay. Disco ball on top. Party time wasn't. Oh, the lady and the ball is actually moving now. <laughs> okay. What a bartender? What? <laughs> okay. What about the lady? Oh, she has a full set now behind her! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Beatboxes on the walls. Yeah. This is definitely the best uh, graphical update I, I see so far. Yeah. What the hell was that? Shoot them up? <laughs> Love it. Hmm, I don't think this trees were here. Let's see. I think on the trailer they showed that it changed the most. I don't think this. Tr Wait. Okay, so far I see just the track is more detailed. Nothing noticeable yet. I don't think this one's here. But I believe I can fly, okay. Oh, this skull now moves, okay. Oh wow, the fire? Here? Oh wait, it actually slows you now. What? Whoa, the lava. <laughs> it's like my eyes. It's so bright. I Yeah. As well I can see like the weapons have more more detailed effects. Nice. Okay. I think nothing new yet. I don't know what to expect from slushy stuff though. Like what's gonna be like better? <laughs> Icicles? <laughs> Those streams are more detailed, for sure. And was there a ship before there? Oh wow! <laughs> that is... Gorgeous. <laughs> Especially like looking at this slime there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell are you just driving with a fucking pan? <laughs> I feel like the environment in Slashy Slope is much more detailed, like comparing to the other maps. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Croc. Nice. Oh, waterfall? I don't think it was there. <laughs> as well as some of the buildings. Cookies now glow. I'm just like selecting, you know, saying what's different. It's like every map is like more detailed in terms of the environment, that's for sure. Like here. I guess because Quest 2 can handle, you know, things in the background, actually. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about, the extreme maps. It makes you vomit. <laughs> oh, this dragon is definitely more detailed. <laughs> okay. 
now. Oh wait, look at the car. What the? The cockpit is way different now. Get out! <laughs> Ow! Oh my! What the hell, bitch? Okay. I was just focused on the cockpit. Oh, you can mute yourself here. Dude, what the hell? Okay, last one. Last Murtas. Yes. Let's see. Oh, fountain instantly. Oh, wait. Behind here. Okay. I should go there. Go there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here is as well more detailed. Like, because this map is like themed after Los Muertos, it's like it's obviously chaotic. Like, we have Mexico stuff like that. A lot of is happening, but I can see like the buildings are much more detailed. There were petals in the air as well. I saw tombstone area. Jesus! <laughs> Here... Muchachos are actually more detailed. Statues. Okay, nice. That was the last one. All in all, I... Like, this game can't do wrong in my eyes. I'm, like, so biased because I love this game. This is, like, pretty much my favorite game on Quest currently. Actually, strong contender to be game of the year. It seems like there's 8 players as well. I've read it's 8 players in private. And that kind of makes sense because the matchmaking would be too long to search for 8 players instead of 4. Immersive controls. I think it was that you just hold the steering wheel. Yeah, I think steering wheel and then the boost was like on the right. I mean, I'm using the controller that way because it's easy for competitive kind of matches. And that's kind of like where I look. Yeah, those are my all times of the <laughs> tracks. I'm like holding multiple world records on the, in this game. I think especially in Mont Alpaca it was, Circuit, Los Muertos, I feel like. I think that, those were the three tracks I was the best. I think Idean was as well. It also depends because I'm really good in classic because I really can focus and just like, you know, normally drive. Pro is too crazy for me and it's mostly because I use the basic modification for the car which basically doesn't modify, it's not easier to steer or it's not harder to like, you know, do an acceleration. I have the most basic mod because that's what I'm used to with the gameplay. Nevertheless, this update is awesome. I mean, it's just adding value on top of this game. And for me, this game is like priceless. I'm very excited for the new season that's gonna be coming, like the new event. I think it's gonna be like a tournament kind of based season. Actually like ranking, not like just, you know, just competing with the 10 best times on the tracks. The ranking in this game is gonna change everything for me because I can just normally play competitively as I see this game. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait. <laughs>